Hello, I'm Lina Galein and welcome to another tutorial. Let's get started. In this drawing tutorial, we're going to draw a giraffe. And what I noticed is that they have a, a very awkward head and it's quite different from, for instance, uh, the head of a horse. And to help me with this, I have started to draw in some helper lines that can help me to make the setup of this drawing a little bit more easy. And I will be using this photo that I've taken from the internet for this magnificent drawing of this animal. Here you can see the little helper lines. And for the setup, I will be using a brown color pencil. I head out with the nose, and because of those lines that I've drawn, I can easily see how the outer line of my giraffe will be. I can see where the line of the mouth will be, and also the jaw line. At this moment you will be thinking, what a strange head, but it's accurate and because of the helper lines you can see how strange the head is built up because we are looking from down below. Here next to the ear I draw in some wrinkles and when I get to the eye I also noticed that the eye is really, really big. It's much bigger than most uh, herbivores. And it divides the head in two. The nostrils are quite small. So I place them on top of the little bow that I've drawn in from the start. Here on the side you can see the muscles of the jaw and also I noticed that the hairs of the ear that protect the inner side of the ear are uh, placed also in. On top of the eye there is a uh, big bow and here is that, that strange uh, bald uh, stump that he has on his head. In this stage of my drawing I'm only concerned for the middle um, tones. So this, this is all in middle brown and I purely try to draw in uh, where the spots are going to be. So I'm watching carefully uh, at my example, my printout, and I watch where everything, uh, all the spots are going on the side of the head and also on the neck. You can also see the throat lash here. Also important are the little dots on the top lip where the little uh, whiskers are going. So I also draw these in. Here on the side of the stumps, the horns on top of the head, I also place in a little bit of light brown, middle brown. Once you have all the middle tones uh, on your paper, then it's time to watch for the highlights. So where the light hits the giraffe. First I get rid of the little helper lines. They are bothering me now, so I erase them. 
so I can focus on the highlights on my giraffe. I'm using a pastel pencil for this, but you can also use a standard white color pencil of course. But the white pastel pencil is even whiter and it works nicely together with the colored paper. Once you've drawn in these highlights, it's time for a little bit of color and also the dark points. So the, the shadow that is on the giraffe's head. And as you've maybe noticed, the light is coming from the right side. So the dark shadows are on the left side of the, the lighter parts, if you like. So I draw in all the left sides of my giraffe. Here on top of the nose and the lower lip, there's a lot of shadow going on. Also underneath the jaw, and in, by the throat lash, there is a lot of shadow. I also place in the mane. So, I was using a dark brown for this. It was the darkest brown that I could find in my color set. I also use this for the eye itself. It's a big eye and once I've drawn that in I use a black to finish that eye up. It's a large eye and it's also all very dark. I also use this black for the little eyelashes, the inside of the ear the inside of the nostril and the little hairs that are on the lips. Then it's time for the yellow ochre. The yellow ochre I use for the the, the color of the giraffe itself and it's just in between the darkest and the whitest parts. I need a little bit more shadow here. So I've taken the dark brown again to get uh, more shadow, even more shadow. And here I'm back with the yellow ochre. A little bit more highlights, also on the tip of the ear and here on the top of the eye. Then we get to the background. It's always hard I think to uh, draw in the background, it's very well personal. So in this case I'm using the background just to give direction for the light light is coming from the right side so I color that in with the white parcel pencil and over that white parcel I can easily put in a little bit of blue this gives the su suggestion of a beautiful clear blue sky and it also works perfectly together with the yellowness of my paper. For the final touch I use a little bit of green. Green is a perfect uh, shade of color for the shadows and also this green works perfectly together with the colors of my giraffe. So use it scarcely but it gives a very realistic effect. Well, I'll sign up my name here, loved doing this 
giraffe. They're awesome animals and I hope you will give it a big like. I also hope to see you again in one of my other tutorials and I wish you all the luck with this drawing. Take care, bye bye.